Yes. Hi, <laughs> right, folks. I'm out here at a jetty. I'm dragging some ribbon fish behind me, and I'm about to pass the first buoy out. We're trying to get ourselves kingfish today. This is my reel. It's a 4,000 Shimano Thunnus, and it's got 150 yards of 30 pound braid on it. And I've got some 44 pound wire to a little duster that's got a three aught J hook and another one down here. And I'm gonna put a uh, ribbon fish on. Here's the duster, it goes on right here. And I go through the top of the nose on the ribbon fish and the trailer hook just kind of lays down nice and flat on the side and hooks in. I'm gonna put this off the side. When I put it over the side, I want to kind of run it forward and make sure it's not going to like spin as it's going. See how that just tracks nice and perfectly? That's exactly what we want. All right, we're going to get this out behind me. Then I'm going to paddle an extra like 10 seconds or so. Now that we got that out, we're going to put it in the rod holder and we should be good. Here's the buoy. I'm trolling up next to it. This is pretty cool. This little line of bubbles is a weed line and I'm just kind of cruising along it. On the right side is nicer water and the left side is a little bit uglier water. So I'm just gonna stay on the nicer water side and bring some ribbon fish along and maybe we'll get a mahi-mahi or a big cobia or something. I'm hooked up super big. Woo! That's a good fish right there. I'm just getting towed. Woo, it's getting a little rough out here. Got a storm behind me. This is the seven foot medium heavy Vexan inshore. And I'm pretty sure it's a big old jack or a kingfish. And I'm, she's telling me pretty good. I think it's actually a jack because a king probably would have given up already. But yeah, we're just doing it. We're like three or four minutes in. I'm just flying along. Coming up high at the top. I had a jack do that last time, so maybe a jack, so. This is insane. <laughs> yeah, I rolled right up onto a group of feeding fish with birds and everything, and I didn't quite make it there in time, but I trolled through it anyway, and I got three bites and hooked one of them, so. This is so crazy. All right, she turned around and she's towing me back towards the buoy. You can see it over there and back towards the jetties, but a crazy strong fish. I'm starting to think she might be having a bull shark chase her around and she's trying to get back to the whole school of them i should probably mention this is 30 pound braid and only 150 yards of it so at best i'm massively outmatched but i'm having a good time and that's what's that's what's important right? yes <laughs> so much fun back starting to hurt a little bit Pretty much straight up and down. The rod's gonna snap and be now, and I don't think it's going to. So, I'm putting that Vex hand to the ultimate test right now. Oh, yeah, 25 30 pound jack on the other end of this. Holy moly! I saw it for a second. Oh, 
Ooh, what's the color? There he is, kind of. That is a big old jack. Oh, it's foul hooked. No wonder why I can't land this thing. It's not hooked in the mouth. Ah, I've been putting 25 minutes into this. I'm tired. Yeah, he's not hooked in the mouth. It's hooked in like the belly. Alright, I finally got him. You can see I have one hook here and the other hook was there. That's why it was so hard to catch. But I'm actually not going to let this guy go. I'm going to take him for shark bait. So I'm going to get my hooks out. I wanted to show you all on the last big male jack that I caught. But look, they have some massive teeth. People don't understand just how serious the teeth are on these guys. When they get big, they are packing some chompers here. Check that out. 